Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to um, give you my suggestions of the top 1980s horror films that I have in my collection that I've actually watched. Um, I do have a, I have other 1980 horror films in the collection that I've never seen, so I'm not going to be mentioning these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you these are not a top 10 or anything. There's actually 11 films. And I'm just going to kind of go over these from my least favorite to my favorite. But all of these are great in my book. Um, first up is Prom Night. Um, this right here is a nice little slasher film with um, Jamie Lee Curtis in it. I really enjoyed this one back when I watched it a long time ago, um, back in my younger years. Um, but I've always been a fan of Prom Night. And if you've never seen it, I would highly suggest you check it out. Another great film that I've always enjoyed, and that is An American Werewolf in London. Just one of the top movies. I love the cinematography, the score, and definitely the special effects in this movie. Really simple story, very easy watch. If you've never seen this, definitely check it out. Another favorite of mine um, from many years ago is Fright Night, the original Fright Night. Um, it did recently get a nice um, steelbook release, um, but I'm showing you this one just because it's handy. But I really enjoyed this. It's a very good um, vampire story. Um, like I said, it's from the 1980s. I grew up, my high school years were in the 1980s. I remember really enjoying this. And I did revisit this one here recently, and, and it still holds up. Very good film. Another one that I've always enjoyed, and that's Child's Play. Um, so I think most everybody has seen this movie. But it's definitely one of my top ones from the 1980s. Another favorite of mine is Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I've always enjoyed this movie. I really do enjoy um, Stephen King films. Um, this right here really shows its age, but I really do enjoy the story. And um, yeah, if you've never seen um, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, definitely check that one out. Another one that I grew up watching that I've always enjoyed is Poltergeist. It recently got a 4K release. Really nice release here. If you've never seen Poltergeist, this right here's the, definitely the version that you'd want to check out. I really enjoyed the movie and very happy to have this 4K in the collection. Another classic one from 1980s is A Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger. So very happy to have this in the collection. I really do hope we get a nice collection box set of some sort for this film. Um, a 4K release. This right here is just a classic horror film and one of my favorites, so very happy to have that one. Another one that I've always enjoyed since I was a kid, and that is The Shining. Um, I've always enjoyed the story. It's probably one of my favorite horror films from, from when I, one of my favorite horror films when I was a kid. There were several, um, but The Shining is another great one. I just love the Overlook Hotel, how creepy it was, it being um, pretty much abandoned with this family living there and the way that the family kind of falls apart throughout the story. Another great one from the 80s is John Carpenter's The Thing. I've actually only seen this one a few times. I definitely need to revisit this. I haven't seen it for a couple of years now, um, but I've always enjoyed the story, the way that it looks. Another great um, John Carpenter film. Okay, next one I have a lot of fond memories of, and that's Gremlins. This right here is a horror slash Christmas film to me. Um, I do remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out. Loved it. I always like to revisit this each year, and so definitely Gremlins is a. I say that it's a horror film because of the what happens in the film. Um, you would think it was more of a kids' film based on. Um, Gizmo, but it's really, a, I don't know, it's definitely a horror film. And my top horror film of the 1980s is definitely 100% Friday the 13th. One of my favorites. Very happy um, that we got a 4K release of this. I do love the original poster art. 
And so that is Friday the 13th. So those are my favorite horror films of the 1980s. Please let me know what you think about my picks and also let me know some of your picks of, of other horror films in the 80s that you think I should check out. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.